guys, my name is Jasmine. Today we're gonna know how we store our Krabby dinners. <laughs> yes, so we bought a few things at the Dollar Tree. I like to have my kids help me with the crabs. I wanna teach them and educate them properly so that they can teach their friends, um, let them know how our hermit crabs need proper care and how to go about it. So I like to do anything possible to get them um, involved in with the crabs. So I found these little organizer boxes um, at the Dollar Tree. They're pretty cool. Um, you can even use these little tin containers. If you get four for $1.25. Um, this is just pretty much what they look like. Yeah. They're pretty great. Yeah. They're cool. You can put labels on them. We got these labels from the Dollar Tree. They are used for whiteboard. And then you have the whiteboard marker. Yes, marker. It's with the pointy pointy tip so you can do your writing easily. And put it on this. And this is how we stored it. They look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We store the food inside with the label of what it is. And um, then it makes it easy for what? For crabby for, dinner, right? Yeah. We use these little uh, quarter teaspoons, makes it easy. So we wanted to show so you, Jocelyn is going to be putting, these are a few of the mixes that we just recently got from Just Two Old Crabs. So we wanted to store them because she loves to help me with dinner. So we're going to do devils for breakfast. This is part of her Halloween uh, food line. Yeah. I'll hold it here and you scoop. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy. Uh-oh. I think I got too much. And I think that it stores a pretty good amount. It smells good. In each um, each little section here. And it has how many how many sections, Jocelyn, does it have? It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight little slots so you can store foods, which are pretty great, I think. I think two is enough of these three scoops you just did three there we okay. go that's enough and now we click the close and it makes this sound very good what is the next one what's that one this one's already uh, filled yeah. this one is acorn cobbler yeah acorn cobbler we already labeled them so it can make it easy so we don't forget what they are as we're scooping Ew, there's bugs in it. I see worms. Oh, do the crabs love worms? Yes. Okay. Very good. So we like to schedule our dinner times every day with our crabs. About 6.30 is when we usually like to store the, um, to offer them their new foods whether we're doing dry mixes or fresh mixes, there's always dry food in our tanks at all times so that the crabs can munch as they want. You could fill it up one more, I think. I think that's good. And if we do fresh, then we just add that in a small dish um, for them. But usually at this time, you like can that. see they get all, they get very active. And they love to go in the wheels. <laughs> all day long and what's next it's what's just next? one more i think there's actually two it's called candied yam Cook. what is it cookie cookie and this i when i opened this i thought it was so cool look how cool it looks it and then it has is. like a nice little frost on the bottom so what we're going Cups to do is we're just going to crumble it up inside Break it open. Break it up in pieces and you could put it inside. Wow, it's gooey. It's got great, mm. doesn't smell bad at all. It smell, I smell bacon, I think. It's not that bad. It's not, not for us though. It's not meant for us to eat, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now clip it. I think there's one more. Franken peppers. Franken peppers. Franken peppers. It has a just little... like Frankenstein <laughs> since a Halloween mix she came up with these with these amazing names and it shows a picture of um, a peppers what? yeah green pepper and red pepper 
They do love peppers, right? Yeah. They go crazy for peppers. They go cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. So she's pretty much done. We like to um, have the kids get involved so they can learn more about the hermit crabs like I mentioned before. I also wanted to show you something else I got at the Dollar Tree. We found these in the travel section, the bathing, I guess where the soap and stuff is at. This is a good, these these are great droppers. I use for my prime water. You use um, it for and, your hermit crabs? Yes, for the prime water. And we can also use it for oil mixes. If you want to do add coconut oil or salmon oil, um, just make sure that these things, these oils you're using are safe and that they are, have no additives and they're organic. We prefer organic just so we know that no pesticides have been used to, um, to grow these items. But these are pretty great. Um, Dollar Tree has amazing stuff if you use your imagination most of my craft items and things like that i get from the dollar tree um you just have to explore so this is pretty much it guys we did them they look pretty cool yeah you just they have nice clip and they they close nicely they absolutely so love the, the the food that we give them and usually my mom always always does the food with me Yes, we do it together, right? Yeah, I love doing it. It's so it's, fun. And I need the extra help because how many tanks do we have? Five. <laughs> yeah, and we're working on number six. Yeah. So um, I think we're done after that, right? <laughs> it's a lot of tanks. Yeah. So what do we say to our friends? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Bye.